because I have known Anne Marie uh, since 1970 when we first met in Delhi when she was Anne Marie Groves and in that same year became Anne Marie Gaston and had already appeared into the world as Anjali, the dancer and uh, scholar. So I'd like to uh, take some of your time just to give you some idea of Anne Marie's uh, great achievements through her career. Uh, the academic side, she has an MLIT um, and um, a DPhil or PhD from Oxford University. Her MLIT thesis is a book, Shiva in Dance, Myth and Iconography. And I think a copy of it is here, if anyone wants to see it. Is it not? Oh, oh no, not that one. Okay, it's the next two. Um, but that one is already in three editions. Then her doctoral dissertation concerned the sociology of the performing arts in India and has been published as two books, Bharatanatyam, From the Temple to the Theater, also in three editions, and Krishna's Musicians, Music and Music Making in the Temples of Nathavara, Rajasthan. Since achieving her degree, she has continued with her doctoral research in photography at all the major and many minor archaeological sites in India, Nepal, and Bhutan. These photographs have been shown in several museums and galleries in the United Kingdom, Europe, India, the US, and Canada. In addition, she has made a comprehensive and original collection of 35 millimeter slides of Indian sculpture and miniature paintings collected from museums throughout India and around the world. She has also created an extensive archive of original music recorded by her in India with some of the finest traditional musicians of India. She is currently a research associate in the School for Studies in Arts and Culture at Carleton University and a member of the Interculture a Research Laboratory at the University of Ottawa, as well as being an elected fellow of the Royal Asiatic Society in London. This May, she will be lecturing at Oxford University, where she is a regular guest lecturer. On the dance side, Anjali has been a pioneer in presenting Indian classical dances across Canada, bringing the art of India to all Canadians. She danced at Expo 67 and was the first Indian dancer to perform in the theatre of the Museum of Civilization when it was opened. She has performed regularly at the NAC to social houses. Anne-Marie has received critical acclaim in India, the United Kingdom, including the Edinburgh Festival Fringe, the U.S., Mexico, Holland, in three places, and France. She was invited to lecture and perform for the prestigious Madras Music Academy and as a guest of the state governments of Orissa and Jammu and Kashmir. She is just back from India where she was invited to participate in the international conference on Odissi and Bhubaneswar, Orissa. At that time, she and Tony visited remote tribal areas of Orissa and Chhattisgarh including Bastar, where they photographed many of the bronze images and handicrafts made by tribal people. So, now we get to Tony and Anne-Marie, which has been a long story uh, since uh, they first met and were married in India. Um, Tony and Anne-Marie met in Egypt, where Tony was working as a paleontologist for Yale University. At that time, in addition to working, Tony was waiting for the other members of the party, all Americans, to get their visas to continue their research in the lower Himalayas in India. They married in 1970 in the garden of friends of Anne Marie's family, a colleague of her father who was in Delhi working for the UNDP. Jim George, who was the High Commissioner at the time, was there as well as many other members of the HC. The High Commission, sorry. Uh, there, there was an Indian dance performance, so the gathering included many dance teachers, dancers, as well as Canadians. Tony, maybe you could put your hand up so they know who the room is. <laughs> <laughs> Tony later switched to ornithology for his Oxford uh, PhD. His field work was conducted on the Delhi Ridge during the period when they were living in the hostel of the Bharatiya Kala Kendra in New Delhi. At that time, Tony was also studying sitar and Hindustani vocal. They lived there for three years, returning every summer to Oxford in Canada where Anne-Marie gave recitals. They returned frequently to India to take part in international conferences on art or the environment and to photograph birds and natural wonders, as well as temples, festivals, archaeological sites, etc. And I think we'll see the benefit of some of that in the presentation this afternoon. 
But Tony's greatest achievement for India was the creation of the great Himalayan National Park in Himachal Pradesh, which he recommended on the basis of extensive surveys carried out in the Western Himalayas during 1978-1980. During this period, Anne-Marie continued to study dance in Delhi, living in Bengali Market, close to the major theaters and dance academies. Tony returned every three weeks to Delhi, taking the bone-breaking 18-hour overnight bus from Manali to Delhi. <laughs> that was bone-breaking, I know that road. Together, Tony and Anne-Marie have trekked extensively through the high Himalayas, looking at local cultures and natural history. Tony is currently a senior research scientist with Environment Canada and has conducted research in the Canadian Arctic for over 30 years. He is one of the foremost authorities on the effect of climate change on wildlife. He will be leading a major project as part of Canada's contribution to the International Polar Year. He also has research projects in the Queen Charlotte Islands of British Columbia, where he has been studying marine birds since 1983. Anne-Marie often accompanies him to Haida Gwaii to photograph in remote places. Their mutual appreciation for art and natural environments has been central to the latest production they have created, The Environmental Wisdom of the Buddha. It will premiere um, here in Ottawa April 13 and 14 at the Arts Court, and we're looking forward to a good number of people from here after today's presentation wishing to follow this act up. Um, in collaboration with Interculture University of Ottawa, Anne-Marie and Tony recently developed a multicultural study project for university schools and community groups, Dancing Shiva, and again, I think we'll see that today, which she will show us. The, this video premiered at the University of Kunming in China last year, when Anne-Marie was invited to be part of a cultural delegation looking at sustainable tourism. Anne-Marie, over to you, it's your turn. Thank you.